Good morning. Good morning. Uh, believe it or not, my bio is probably longer than my speech. <laughs> um, uh, what you are not hearing is uh, the fact that I had many failures in life, and I was a college dropout. Um, you know, I didn't get into the, the high school that I wanted to get into, uh, but I had a very strong mother. And um, I always, uh, when Yankee asked me to, to come just to just say a couple words, uh, I always uh, give thanks to my mother because she, um, and a lot of, I see a lot of immigrants in the room who are either uh, entrepreneurs or thinking about starting a business. Uh, you know, my, my grandmother was an entrepreneur. Uh, she was, uh, and in Grenada, as you, for those from the Caribbean or even, um, you know, from other countries, you understand uh, that she was a vendor in the marketplace. Uh, and vending and being a vendor is so important. Um, and, you know, she was able to build a, a home for us. Um, and in Grenada, when you have a concrete house, you know that that is almost a sign of wealth, right? It's not, you're not living in a wood house, it's a concrete house. Uh, and she did that all by selling just vegetables and, and milk. Now, I will say my, my grandmother, you know, was an, she was a very clever entrepreneur because she would fill the bottle three quarters with milk and then the rest with water. <laughs> so she knew how to stretch the, you know, the product uh, to get more money. But, you know, we, you know, I feel very honored uh, to be here because my, you know, my grandma, my mom left me in Grenada when I was six months. And think about it, all the mothers who are out here leaving your newborn with uh, your, your mother to come to this country to make a, a, a better living. And so I stand uh, not only on the shoulders of my grandmother, uh, but also my mother. Um, and certainly it's a pleasure uh, to be here because, you know, we, you heard it uh, through a number of individuals who's talked about New York City. Uh, Colleen is not only a former colleague, but a dear friend. Uh, we are very passionate about creating opportunities uh, because I would not be standing in front of you if someone did not create an opportunity, not only for my mother, but for me. Um, and certainly we are, and as I am the Commissioner of Small Business Services, we are tasked with continuing creating opportunities for immigrants. New York City has almost eight point, it's actually now 8.6 million people. Um, and you are correct, uh, the, um, uh, for, for uh, control of Scott Stringer's office, this is the diversity of New York City in this room. Uh, and we recognize that, not only as an administration, but also uh, all of our elected officials know that immigrants are the economic engine of New York City. And why is that? Because even though there's 8.6 million people in New York City, one third are foreign born, but 52, it's now up to 52% of all small businesses, and there's over 230,000 small businesses in New York City are owned by a foreign born New Yorkers. And, for, and small businesses are the economic engines of New York City. So immigrants are the economic engine of New York City. So certainly I'm happy to be here. Uh, I wanted to be here because I wanted you to know that government, unlike what you're seeing in the media, and I know sometimes it can be very scary, uh, the language that we're in the country, the way the country is at right now. That's why I proudly, whenever I stand up, I say I am an immigrant uh, because I want people to understand <laughs> that you know immigrants are entrepreneurial, immigrants are innovative, but uh, but most importantly, immigrants add to uh, the economic vitality of this country. Uh, so you have a partner in city government. Uh, you have a partner in the private sector, and certainly BCA Network, we thank you for being a partner with us. Uh, we certainly, working with City Community Development, uh, uh, Colleen alluded to the fact, uh, we provide all our services at no cost to you. So we help businesses start, expand, and operate. We provide it in 10 languages, uh, and I won't name it because you heard some of it. Uh, <laughs> but if you are looking for help, either call 311, you can connect with me, or you could go online at nyc.gov slash immigrant businesses. Uh, I know we have to move the program along, but I just wanted to tell you, congratulations. Uh, you have a partner in government, uh, and New York City appreciates your contributions uh, to our great city. Thank you very much. Thank you.